don't know how long we have waited to play Oklahoma. Sooners running out before the game. This was supposed to be Chris Sims' day, guys. But what Chris Sims does on this play, he underthrows his wide receiver, leaves it short. He should throw the ball higher than this. It's picked off by Andre Wolford. He returns it back down the field to play. Chris Sims was off his mark today, throwing over his receivers in front of his receiver. Here again, that should be a completion for a first down to B.J. Johnson. He just doesn't convert. He misses third. his fullback on this one, Reese. Wide open, his fullback's in front of him, throwing the ball. He have, misses him again. You have to get it to him at that point. But Oklahoma wasn't the only team hitting hard playing defense. Texas did not back down from the challenge. They brought some big-time pressure on Nate Hibble, Rod. And it took a page from Kansas State, decided to go after the quarterback. Could he handle it? Now they knocked him out of the ball game. Knocked him right out of there. Hibble's going to take one right in the teeth again from Marcus Tubbs. He would not return. And Jason White, the guy who Hibble beat out barely in the preseason, pacing, waiting. White showing some good speed and good feet, ripping off 12 here. Oklahoma inside the three and on first and goal. Bob Stoops said, we're Oklahoma. We haven't totally abandoned our heritage. Option. Quentin Griffin into the end zone. Oklahoma had 7-0. Griffin, seven touchdowns in the last two games against Texas. He had six a year ago. The real stars on the Oklahoma D. We saw Wolfolk intercept the pass and now block the field goal. In Texas, maybe that confidence starting to wane just a little bit. Roy Williams picking up the ball here. Roy Williams was huge in the whole day as well. Later in the second half, Sims finally trying to stretch the field again. Mark, you smell the balls. There Not again, knocking it down. It's underthrown. It happened to Chris Sims all day. Here he wants to go deep. He wants to throw it deep again. Number 28, Antonio Perkins intercepts the ball again for Oklahoma. That one in the end zone. Sims had only thrown a couple of picks. And Tim Duncan lining up for a field goal. Instead, the pooch punt. Severe tactical error by Nathan Vasher to catch that ball. You have to let it bounce. This going to be a key play. Watch what Brett Robin does to Roy Williams here early on, Rod. Yeah, he cut him as he tried to come in and make the play. Williams would remember that later in the game. Big play right here. Watch this. You're not cutting me this time. I know it. He jumped right over, made the big play, the big pick that changed things. Look at that. That's an All-American player learning from something early in the ball game and making a big play at the end. Teddy Lehman scoring there. That coming after Vasher field of the punt, and Oklahoma does it to Texas again. 14 to 3 the final. Bob Stoops 8 and 0 against teams in the top 10. He's been unbelievable. Meanwhile, Mac Brown has been 3 and 6 against similar opponents. Chris Sims, it all set up for his day and he just didn't come through, fellas. 24-42, 198 yards in those four interceptions doubling the season total. Well, I think he's going to take a lot of the heat, but I think the coaching staff needs to bear a lot of it. They they put too much pressure on him. They should have run the ball more.